Hello, welcome to HTML5 Tutorials, Chapter 7, HTML5 Form Attributes, Part 1, brought to you by Ankro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn about the new form attributes in HTML5. So here comes a list of HTML5 form attributes. They are autocomplete, autofocus, list, max and minimum, multiple, required, pattern, placeholder and step. As of now, in this session, we are going to concentrate only on this first set. They are autocomplete, focus, autofocus, list, maximum, minimum and multiple. So without wasting much time, let me jump into autocomplete attribute. The autocomplete attribute specifies whether a form or an input field should have autocomplete on or off. Okay, And when autocomplete is on, the browser automatically complete the input values based on the values that the user has entered before. And the autocomplete attribute works with the form and the following input types text, search, URL, telephone, email, password, date pickers, range and color. So now without wasting much time, let me show you a demo of this autocomplete attribute. And here is a simple example what I'm going to code there in Visual Studio Code. Okay, you can observe your first name, last name and email. To the form tag I specified autocomplete on in the sense anything inside this form tag, okay, which will be having this autocomplete attribute with the value on. But explicitly to this input type email, I've specified autocomplete off. So now what I'll do is let me jump into Visual Studio Code. Let me add a form tag. So let me remove this as of now. But let me specify auto complete on. Let me take first name. Input type is text. And let me assign the name to it, telling like first name. Let me take, let me just copy and paste it. This last name. And this is L stands for email. Input type is email. Okay, let me give a name. email and what I'll do is I'll specify auto complete off to this okay and let me add input type submit let me assign the value to it as so it is input type submit let me push this page to the browser and here is my source file now it navigates to the browser there it renders a form Okay, now I'll enter Sam. Okay, now you can observe here as soon as I enter, so let me enter something like Brendan. Okay, last name coming to it, it's Ek, and this is something like Ek at Gmail. Sorry for this, Ek at Gmail.com. Now let me click submit. Now it's gone. Now I'll type Brendan. You can observe here. You can observe very clearly. When I type Brendan, it is showing me the auto complete. Now when I click on this, it itself completed the entire text. In the sense, it got selected and it is placing inside the text box. Similarly, when I type E, you can observe here. This is called auto complete. Okay, it show me the indecisions like what I've typed before. Then I can select that. It automatically enters inside the text. But to the email, you can observe here in my code. I've specified that auto complete off. So in the last time I've, co I've entered like Ek at gmail.com you can observe here right now I'm not getting any um, help text which I can select it and I can place it inside the text box this is what the autocomplete feature is okay and coming to second one auto autofocus the autofocus attribute specifies that the input field should automatically get focus when the page loads so what do you mean by this let me explain you let me remove this so you're I'm going to tell like auto focus so before this let me control X let me remove this as of now so let me go back and let me refresh so now when I refresh my page you can observe right now any text box are not focused when I click on them they get focused but my objective is as soon as I refresh the page when, when the page loads 
this forms has to get focus this fields has to get focus in the sense it has to get this blue border as soon as I refresh the page so when the page loads automatically it has to be get focused so how to do that it's very simple I need to specify uh, attribute called autofocus control s now you can observe now it's not autofocus now when I refresh you can observe the first input type box is getting focused this is called autofocus attribute okay as soon as I refresh the page as soon as the page loads the first name input type text box is focused similarly if I need to do to the entire form elements what I need to do is I need to specify this here let me check out is this going to work let me refresh okay it's not going to work so what do you mean by this we had applied to this individual elements okay individual input types okay you can observe the first element is getting focused when I refresh the page this is what about autofocus is and coming to the list the list attribute refers to a data list element that contains predefined options for an input element so uh, what we are going to do is we are going to take an input control input element and we'll make that input element act as a select list drop down list so how do I do that uh, it's very simple let me go back let me remove everything here so let me take let me let me like select skills input let me remove this I'm just going to specify a list uh, let me specify like uh, skills data so now I'm going to generate okay data list I guess yep the data list with that ID so data list so I'm going to assign an ID to this so the ID will be the list name list value what I've given here so when I click on that input control it populates this list so I need to specify uh, option the value will be HTML so let me remove this this tag is not necessary so this is HTML5 push this to the corner and this will be the typical JavaScript and this will be the typical jQuery we do control s let me go back let me refresh and here you can observe when I mouse over on the input control you can observe we're getting a drop down this pointed arrow downwards when I click on that you can observe very clearly this input element is acting like a select tag the sense what select element gives us it gives us a drop down of things and I can select the I can select the particular thing so right now you can observe I've selected HTML5 again when I refresh it's going to select the jQuery this is what about the list is okay list attribute refers to a data list element that contains predefined options for an input element this is how the list attribute going to work and coming to minimum and maximum the min and maximum attributes specify the minimum and maximum values for an input element so the these minimum and maximum attributes work with the following input types they are number range date date time local month time and week so here I have a simple example what I've done is I've taken input type number and I'm telling like minimum value the number it can take is one and the maximum is five so about that it's not going to take any number so let me uh, show this simple example so let me go here let me remove this so let me tell like input its number so I'm going to tell like minimum it has to take is one and max it can take is five so I'm going to tell like select a number between 1 and 5 so when I do control s let me go back let me refresh so you can observe here I can type 6 okay but when I use this control 1 2 3 4 5 above that when I click on that it's not taking and below this it does not go the minimum is 1 and the maximum is 5 this is how the min and maximum attribute works we can 
limit the things like setting the minimum and maximum values to a particular control so since I've taken here the input type number so I can enter the number between 1 and 5 by toggling the buttons upward and downward button okay you are this it's 5 maximum and minimum is 1 okay and coming back here so uh, we have multiple attribute the multiple attribute specifies that the user is allowed to enter more than one value in the input element the multiple attribute works with the following input types email and file so let me show you this it's very simple so what I'll do is uh, let me remove this we specify input it is file so let me go with that input email a file okay it's a, let me take a file select three images so what I need to do is right now if I don't specify multiple I can select only one image as of now but if I specify multiple I can select multiple files so let me go back let me refresh so let, one second so I'll click on this choose files it's, go, it's going to open with my so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select three images one sorry guys one two and three so you can observe it three files had got selected so if I remove this multiple what's gonna happen you do control S let me go back let me refresh click on file chosen so I'll click one and this two so you can observe here I'm holding the control key but still I can't select multiple things because it can select only one file at a time but if I specify multiple okay I can select multiple things multiple images at a single shot so one two three four total files is four this is so when I over on this it can it will show you like uh, the name of the files for your selected auto bill capture and data list so this is what the specialty of these attributes I hope you understood this attributes very clearly that is auto complete auto focus list max min multiple so uh, great day please subscribe to our youtube channel and pro training you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference of our website we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day